GQ magazine has recently published a list of the chairs, whose designs became the emblem for each of its designers, and were the flag of what was called international design. Today, on this video we will review each of these designs. Let's get started. Papa Bear by Hans Wegner Denmark 1954 GQ magazine considers it the most comfortable of its count, and there is something about the precision of its height and depth, the study of angles and the perfect amount of padding, that make it an absolutely perfect crib. Once you sit on it, you will never want to get up again. Stacking Chair by Werner Panton Denmark 1960 The main innovation of this wonderful chair was its construction from a single injection molded shape of a single material, and its great ability to be stacked. B32 slash Seska by Marcel Brewer. Germany 1928. Fascinated by bicycle handlebars, Brewer and Martstam used unreinforced tubular steel to invent the modern 20th century saddle. The design of the B32 slash Seska was a real game changer, it offered a comfortable bounce and seemed to float on air to a human. LCW by Charles and Ray Eames. United States 1946. The LCW lounge chair would, and its variations have to make the cut. They were the results of years of experimentation that grew out of Eames' research into developing a machine, nicknamed Chasm and Alakasm, like magic, that could mold plywood into composite shapes. His invention was first used during World War II to create smart lightweight splints for the battlefield, and finally, after the war, for his famous plywood chair, which is now a true icon of 20th century design. Lounge and Ottoman by Charles and Ray Eames, United States, 1956. If you really look, you'll see that it's simply a lavish progression from his earlier bent plywood experiments, but with leather inserts and padding, twists and turns, like a catcher's mitt inside a plywood cover. The Eames Lounge now epitomizes mid-20th century executive style, masculinity, and comfort. The most collectible models are, like this one, the vintage Rosewood. If you want to support the channel and my videos, you can do so by leaving your collaboration through PayPal, Patreon and YouTube Super Thanks, the links will be in the description box. And if you can't make a monetary collaboration, it doesn't matter, you can also support by liking the video, commenting and sharing it with your friends on your social networks. Armchair by Warren Planter United States 1966 Plattner skillfully based his work on a Lewis XV style chair. Plattner rethought those bulky old whalebones with modern materials. The result is a visually light and incredibly elegant silhouette. Transat by Eileen Gray. France 1927. Based on the deck chairs of steamboats, this piece gets its name from the abbreviation 4-liner. The frame has intricate joinery with chrome brackets, while the seat is a sling with a swivel head support section. In an era dominated by male designers, each of Gray's designs is exceptional and worthy of study and collection. Egg by Arne Jacobsen Denmark 1958 Jacobsen designed the egg specifically for the SAS Royal Hotel in Copenhagen, along with many other pieces of furniture that have now found a great life outside the inn. His clever pop interpretation of a traditional armchair is all curves and flow, smooth and sexy. It also creates a sort of cozy cocoon of privacy, especially if you're pulling it away from someone you want to ignore or silence. 209 by Michael Vonet. Austria 1900. One of the most important innovations in the modern chair timeline is the invention of a process that allows for steam bending of wood. When Le Corbusier was doing his avant-garde architecture, what did he decide to put in almost all of his buildings? Barcelona by Ludwig Mies van der Rohe Germany 1929 Designed to complement his German pavilion for the 1929 International Exhibition in Barcelona. The chair was never designed to be mass-produced, but simply to sit on and look fabulous in the pavilion. Did, it still does. 
It's not as comfortable, but it looks just as impressive as any other chair. Great Comfort by Le Corbusier. France 1928. The Grand Comfort is just a clever way to contain a few cushions in an open frame. Or a basket of cushions, as Le Corbusier himself referred to it. With its chrome exoskeleton, the luxurious classic is the ultimate in time travel, channeling the 30s and 70s, it's a pure, comfortable dis- Tulip by Aero Saarinen United States, 1955 A tectonic design shift occurred overnight when Saarinen revealed his attempt at a single material, single form chair, which blew up the idea that a chair had to stand on four posts. Finally, he resolved his long-standing desire to clean up, as he called it, the leg slump. The result was epic and also as majestically flowing and beautiful as, well, a tulip. If you liked any of these designs, you can visit the links in the description box. Remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to continue sharing more content in the next videos.